Hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shanika. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, I appreciate you guys so much. Style, beauty, vlogs, Vixen is my main specialty. So if you are ever interested in any of that type of content, please go ahead and scroll through my video and check your girl out. Today, we are going to be doing my 2022 skincare regimen. I have been doing this skincare regimen for like the past six months and it has been working for me. I've been doing it on and off, guys. I got some good days, I got some bad days. Some days I, you know, wanna do my full on skincare regimen. And some days I just really don't feel like doing it. Um, but today we are gonna show you the full breakdown. I have realized that when I use all of these products together consistently, my skin thrives. So my goal for 2022 is to be on a skincare regimen consistently and not stop. I really, really want my skin, everything to flourish this year. So first things first, we're going to go in with our cleanser. Today we are going to be going in with the Fenty Skin Cleanser, you guys. And if you are not new, if you did see my last skincare regimen video, I do use a brush when I am using cleansing my face. And this just works as a daily exfoliant. If you don't use a brush and you don't have a brush in your regimen, then I do recommend that you have an actual exfoliant and you do that every other day on your face, guys. Exfoliating is very important. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my skin with cool water. And I know that it feels good, you guys, to I know that it feels good to wash your face with warm water, but you really want to kind of stay away from washing your face with warm or hot water because that is how you dry your skin out. If you really want to keep your youthful glow, mm -hmm. always use cool. Mm -hmm. I like to go in with the cleanser on a brush. You guys, I really love this Fenty cleanser because it layers up instantly. And I feel like that's how you know when a product is good. Especially a skincare product. When it layers. I was saying earlier, if you don't have a brush in your skincare regimen, then you might want to just do like an actual exfoliant because you have to exfoliate your skin, especially in the winter. Yeah, if you have sensitive skin, that's going to be a little a bit different or if you have eczema or if you have problem skin, um, exfol over exfoliate and can, can worsen it. But if you just have like pretty normal to dry skin, then you definitely want to make sure that you guys are exfoliating. I want to go ahead and rinse with, again, cool water, you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the paper towel and damp my skin. You guys can use a paper towel or you can use a face towel. I typically have a face towel that I like to use uh, that I wash consistently to dry my face with, but today we're just gonna use a paper towel. Get that all that water and all that excess moisture off. Y'all, do y'all see the glow immediately? I feel like that's why I love this cleanser. I just love the fact that it just gives me an instant glow just with the cleanser. That's just step one, you guys. Um, I will say this, if you are someone who has an issue with fragrance, Fenty Skin is not for you. All of their products have a scent to them. So I know a lot of people say they don't really like Fenty because it, it has a strong scent to it, like a perfume type of scent, which it doesn't bother me, I typically, um, can only use certain types of products, but this one doesn't bother my skin. So, next, guys, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Acne Solution Toner. So, it's a clarifying lotion. This product has salicylic acid in it. So, typically, my toners, I typically like them to have acne medicine in it because I do have a lot of breakout. I do normally get a lot of breakout under here, especially due to the pandemic and me having to wear masks all day at work. Uh, it just, this right area right here tend, always, always tends to break out. So whatever toner I use always has to have acne medicine in it. 
Um, when you have a, when you're using an acne medicine, toner is either going to have benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid in it. This one has the salicylic. If you have sensitive skin, this is not for you. <laughs> this is a very strong solution and it does burn. So, not burn in a bad way, but it does uh, burn in a way of like, if you have open or if you have, um, if you just exfoliate it and then you put the toner on it, you'll feel it tingling because of the acid. So, I don't recommend this if you have sensitive skin. And I only put this on the outside of my skin. You never, ever, ever, if you guys are going to use this product, ever go under your eyes with it because it is, can dry you out. And you never want to dry out your under eyes. That's how you get wrinkles. <laughs> So all over my face with the toner. Let that dry you guys. This is just kind of drying me out. <laughs> but it's fighting that bacteria that's, that gets under here from wearing dirty mask all day. And that's why I like to use this. I definitely like to keep this in my regimen. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Moisturizer, you guys. This moisturizer is everything. I love how it comes out. It comes out pink, cute. These bottles are refillable, so once you buy this, you don't have to buy the whole bottle. Again, you can just get the refills, and it does come out. I'll just show you guys how it looks. This is what the refill looks like. So typically, this is not really big it's kind of like cap because it looked like you get this big old bottle but really this is how much is in here but if you buy it once I think you just get the refill you don't have to pay for the full bottle so now I'm going to go in with the cleanser you guys this cleanser is very I love how it instantly goes into my skin kind of like a serum Again, this product has a little bit of a scent to it, so. I did skip one step that I typically do, but I'd have to get some more of it, you guys. And if you are in a, doing a skincare regimen and you are like 20 and over, I recommend everybody putting this in their skincare regimen because it's so important and you don't want to neglect this step. I actually have to go to the store tomorrow and get some more, but normally before I do my moisturizer, I would go in with my Revitalift eye cream, y'all. Um, I love that eye cream. It has retinol in it, so retinol kind of plumps up the under eye so you don't get the crow's feet and the wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. And if you know anything about skincare then you know the first place you start to see signs of aging is under your eyes and the back of your hands so you always want to make sure that you keep your under eyes moisturized so like I said I don't have any today I am going to have to go get some more of that but that is also something that I do okay so the next step you guys is going to be my toner um, Fenty does have a toner, a rose, rose water toner that people rave about. Honestly, people say the fat water is probably the best thing, one of the best things that she offers. But personally, if you guys watched my last skincare video, I like the Amy. This is like only $7 compared to like $27 for the, the fat water. Um, and it doesn't scare me wrong and I still had a whole bottle of it and I like the way that it makes my skin feel this is the glow and bright illuminating toner so I just use this one now I did have a, a subscriber comment under my video and tell me that the Amy products really really broke her out so guys before you do any like take any recommendations on products or you watch these type of videos make sure you do your own personal research on the products if you know you're allergic to something or if you have really sensitive skin do a patch test first don't just go buying a whole bunch of products because somebody recommended it because everybody's skin is different a patch test is when you just put the product either behind your ear on your neck right here on on your wrist if you break out in any of those areas, then you're allergic to it. So always do a patch test before you go out, especially if you're someone who has a really sensitive skin. My skin can typically typically take products. That's why I like to switch out my products like every six months. I don't like to use the same product 
product regimen over and over again i do like to switch it up and that's also why i like to do separate like different types of products i don't just have one family of products i like to take some a little bit of something from here a little bit of something from there and figure out what works for me so uh with all that being said we're going to go in with our amy oldie but goodie uh rose water toner uh this is just a not a toner this is just a um a overall face mist so okay y'all see that glow y'all instantly i love it an instant glow y'all and then like once so this is what my face looks like it looks like i just drink a glass of water like my face just had a glass of water this is what i love about these products together my skin looks very very hydrated and it makes a, a beautiful canvas for um when i'm about to apply my makeup so then after this of course i go with my primary foundation all the other stuff but this is just the foundation this is i do all of this before i apply, apply my makeup and this is how you get a very beautiful smooth canvas for your makeup application last but not least you guys i just wanted to throw in a little bonus of something that i just bought the other day and i really really liked it i'm gonna go in with some birds bees chapstick y'all just because my lips get really really dry in the winter so before i put anything on my lips i always go in with a chapstick because ain't nothing worse than some chap lips y'all yeah, it's not cute <laughs> but let's talk about this Too faced lip injection i know y'all heard about it I really like this, y'all. Like, listen, I'm not going to lie. Like, um, you ain't going to look like you got lip injections. And that's not why I bought it. Um, I didn't really want to look like I had lip injections as much as I wanted to try this quote-unquote number one lip gloss um, in America is what they're claiming. But it's super, super hydrating. It does have a slight lip plumping effect to it, which is nice. Um, it comes in three. My pack came in three, it came in a pink, a clear, and then we have this kind of pearl looking one. And so let me tell you all about this product. Instantly, you feel the plumping effect. So that's also why I put the chapstick on first because it stings, y'all. It really does sting. <laughs> For the first time, like once you use it consistently, it's not bad, but the first time you ever use it, it stings. I really love this lip gloss it is so hydrating and moisturizing and it's really pretty like it's really really pretty and so I've been putting this on like I said you're not gonna if you are looking for like lip fillers no this is not this is not gonna be the product for you but if you're looking for a really great lip gloss that kind of gives you a little pouty look and that is hydrating because for me that's my biggest thing when it comes to lip glosses i'm i don't really typically wear lip glosses for the look if i put lip gloss on it's just like because i'm just like running to the store or i'm walking around the house or you know i just don't want my lips to look crushy crusty and ashy i'm typically a lipstick girl um and if i do put lipstick on i'll put a colored lip gloss over top but these are pretty sheer like these lips lip glosses are sheer so uh i wouldn't put this over top of a lipstick because i just feel like um, these are for th this these these type of lip glosses have a specific thing that they they have a specific need. So these are this does it's extreme lip plumping. So I don't know if y'all see a little difference. I don't. I mean, I think they still look the same, but I love the way they feel. So um, I think I paid. So I got the little ones. So I got three, four, and it comes in this little little pop like this i got three for 26 or you could just get the big one for 26 but in my opinion i think you should try the little one first see if you like it um you guys, i totally thought it was worth it i really really like these lip glosses so i just wanted to add that just a little add addition to my skincare regimen but anyway um if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give your girls a thumbs up you like the video please go ahead and subscribe let me know what you like and what you didn't like if you try these products and they don't work for you let me know i want to talk about it um and also please don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed i appreciate everybody who comes and tunes in 
daily on my videos you guys don't know what that means to me it means so much to me um again like i said please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and thanks for stopping by